What's up, the squad? Back with another video. I seen the title was going down. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button. Need my thing for my my little Microsoft. I mean my I said Microsoft. My microfiber uh, thing for my. There we go. Can't see y'all. Now I'm saying, but definitely um <clears throat> make sure y'all go check out Doug and Exile in the description box down below. Definitely appreciate everybody tuning in, watching this reaction. Let's get in the video, y'all. Elise Stefanik has filed an ethics complaint against Jack Smith. Kind of reminds me of the ethics complaints filed against Fonnie Willis for overreach. This is the Republicans are finally fighting back. Get them. Democrats corrupt and desperate witch hunts against President Trump must come to an end. This is lawfare and blatant election interference, and the American people know it. Elise Stefanik hit him so hard that his head won't spin. I want every kind of legal form of justice brought against Jack Smith that you can imagine, just like the Democrats do against us. They, they stretch their imagination going, oh, can we imply this ridiculous tactic? Yes, they do it. So this is fine. Here's the hill. Stefanik files ethics complaint against Jack Smith. By the way, welcome to Doug in Exile. I would love to have you guys subscribe. If you have not yet, just click it. It's easy to hop into the group. Rep Elise Stefanik, Republican New York, and also, uh, I think, a pretty serious vice president contender, although it seems like she's kind of out now. Yeah. Filed an ethics complaint against special counsel Jack Smith on Tuesday, accusing the prosecutor overseeing the federal investigations into former President Trump, trying to, quote, unlawfully interfere with the 2024 presidential election. Let that sink in. That is why today I filed an official complaint with the Department of Justice Office of Professional Responsibility on Joe Biden special counsel Jack Smith for his clear and illegal efforts of election interference. Let that quote sink in of what she's accusing them of. It's the same thing they've been accusing Trump of. Only they're actually guilty, which is why they were projecting it on Trump. This is the battle of wits and the battle of strategies going on right now between the Republican and Democrat Party. Both are accusing each other of election interference. Trump, by denying election results, and now we're seeing in 2024 this lawfare launched by Jack Smith across five different court cases for Trump after Trump announced his candidacy. That's the biggest thing that shows their guilt. Stefanik, the House GOP conference chair and a close Trump ally, filed the complaint with the Justice Department's Office of Professional Responsibility, arguing Smith is trying to, quote, rush Trump's federal election subversion case. Remember, we've gone into this too. The timing is everything. That Jack Smith has been pushing, pushing, pushing. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Got to get this thing done. Same mm -hmm. with Alvin Bragg. Rush, rush, rush. We'll do more about even um, that's under Alvin Bragg. Uh, Juan Merchon is pushing, pushing, fast, 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 rushing through this court case because they want to get one to stick before the election. Definitely. Um, they might even use it as a new reason to try and keep him off some ballots, saying he's a felon, and then start up a new controversy over, can a felon run for president? There you go. Because if you can't vote as a felon, how can you run? That's Sonny Hostin made that argument. I'm not saying it has any legal credibility, because the only one I've heard make it is Sonny Hostin. Therefore, it kind of discredits itself. Quote, it's obvious to any reasonable observer that Jack Smith is trying to interfere with the 2024 election and stop the American people from electing Donald Trump, unquote, Stephanie said in a statement, quote, at every turn, Jack Smith has sought to accelerate his illegal prosecution of President Trump for the clear, if unstated, purpose of trying uh, him before the November election, unquote. Just think about that, though. Like, what people fail to realize, like, I feel like if we was in, like, Think about if we were in the second year. Think think of it now, you know. Think 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 of it think of this year being Biden's second year. You know, even though obviously it's, you know, got an election coming up. I feel like if we had another two years, stuff wouldn't and people gotta understand. I feel like people do realize that. They just have this hatred towards Trump. People don't realize that we are in a really bad position. We're in a really bad position. You know, um, with the people that we have in office right now. I mean, it's, it's, it's literally no type of, it, it, it's, it's not hidden. It's all out, you know, and not, 
I never watched the news and stuff. Like, I tell you all the time. Like, I just got into these videos last year. But literally, like, it's like, it's right there in front of your face now. That's how bad things then got, you know, <clears throat> when we hear about Joe Biden and what he's got. I literally was on uh, Fox News uh, YouTube earlier. And literally all I saw, uh, I was on Fox News earlier. I was on Forrest Breaking News earlier. Um, and I <clears throat> I usually, you know, I'm, I'm, I try not to stay so much, you know, and look at, you know, I, I check out different, you know, news um, channels, you know, that's on here, you know. And all I see is Biden's name just getting thrown, even by, you know, it. I, I've seen it so many places and it's right there in front of your face. You know, it, it don't even have to be from a news channel. It can be from some other channel. It can be from a TikTok video. It can be from anything. And it has gotten bad. And I don't see how people still uh, let it come out of their mouth that, oh, yeah, I'm going to vote for Biden. Biden, I'm a, I'm a, I, don't, I don't see it, you oh, know? So this is kind of, uh, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because I'm a dummy. I'm a comic book guy. And I've been calling this out just going, wow, this appears to be Jack Smith rushing things. And now we have, it's, it's gone from just kind of us commonly saying it among the people, among the normies, to now it's getting up as high as Elise Stefanik launching an, an ethics violation on Jack Smith. It's getting all the way up to the top now, formalized, mm -hmm. and now she's going to try to start prosecuting him. So that, that's just very far along in the evolution of this idea that this is some this is this is part of the lawfare this is our side participating in going against their side uh for uh, trying to conduct lawfare against trump but now it's getting normalized it's going public jack smith is under the gun and i and this i'm, I'm happy to hear this kind of fight happening smith should be censored for violating the justice department's manual she argues citing a section that says attorneys may quote never select the timing of any action for the purpose of affecting any election unquote very good grounds elise stefanik why are you the only one fighting where's jim jordan where's uh Co where's comer where's our people at where's mike johnson quote mm -hmm. smith's conduct has brought disrepute to the department of justice that's merrick garland and the entire federal government and the Office of Professional Responsibility should impose the discipline that such conduct warrants, she said in her statement. We will fight the Democrats' unjust lawfare and expose this corruption, whether it is in New York, Atlanta, or here in Washington, D.C. This I is an important right. responsibility of our oversight. Another note. On I think ever, seen, ever since seeing Elise Stefanik, um, the first video I've ever reacted, I've, I think I've only seen like two videos. I, I, I like her viewpoints and I love what she's about and what she has to say. Um, it is too bad that I don't, I don't think she's, you know, I feel like it would be me personally. I feel like it would be, you know, something that's great for her to be a vice president for Trump. I don't think, you know, that's that that that's going to happen. But um, seeing seeing her videos and, you know, listening to what she has to say, I, I love her viewpoints. Um, this big picture persecution thing. This is what Trump ran on, that I'm being persecuted by the government. This is a witch hunt. And so it took a long time. You know, the Republicans at first wouldn't touch that. They go, oh, he's going to pull this lie, this witch hunt garbage. And oh, he's a persecuted victim, poor martyr. Well, now even the mainstream Republicans, mainstream rhinos and some Democrats are going, yeah, this is a witch hunt. So I, I just want to keep underlying, uh, because this has to do with Trump's election, okay, that it's getting more and more common, more and more publicized, more and more widespread, even digging into the Democrat Party, reaching into the undecideds, reaching into the black vote, saying Trump is a fellow victim of the state. Let every person out there who's ever been, oh, audited by the IRS, which side do you think Trump is on and which side do you think Biden's on? Hmm. You know what I mean? If you ever have the state come after you for anything or feel like you've been mistried, you ever had a cop pull you over for your skin color, not for what you did? 
I mean, there's, and I'm not throwing cops under the bus, guys. I'm only saying there is a form of statehood that overreaches its power be just because it's powerful. But a lot of people don't even look at that. A lot of people don't realize that they, they, a lot of what, what when Doug's saying, you know, obviously, you know, about skin color, I'm gonna just, you know, take that topic. I feel like a lot of, and especially, I'm not even just gonna say one color. Um, with it being black people, but a lot of people, you know, you know, being in America, what I what I've seen is that a lot of people are capable to work, capable to do things, capable to do, you know, but a lot of people are wanting free this, free that. They'll, I didn't see somebody work so hard to get something free that they could have put all that energy into an actual job you know so it's it's one of those things i feel like a lot of the stuff that you know is you know somewhat free and this i know i keep on saying free nothing's free it has to be paid for you know somehow but i look at the fact that a lot of people are getting stuff free that aren't disabled that aren't you know <clears throat> if you're capable to do those things do it I feel like a lot of people don't look at, you know, the bigger picture of what could happen with, you know, Joe being the president. Like people don't understand the bigger picture, you know, and I I, I don't want to I don't ever want to shy away anybody from who they vote for or anything like that. I just rather people to wake up and understand what's going on instead of. Being, you know, that I guess you say woke, you know, um, it, I don't know. I, I just see so much that's, that's online and, you know, even in person, it's crazy. Anyways, this is great news on, uh, Elise Stefanik's side. Um, this is great news that she's, uh, now giving Jack Smith something else to trouble him. I just hit him hard, guys. I want to see a unleashing of all of his phone records. I want to see anyone who has anything on him come out in public and start rattling his cage. Show him that he's not going to get away with this without some kind of repercussion. That it's not just a, this is not going to be an easy gimme. He thinks he's going to get away clean. No. And if Trump wins, uh, they they should legally prosecute him and legally throw him in jail just so Democrats don't ever try this again. He should be impeached. Department of Justice Merrick Garland should definitely be impeached. Same with Mayorkas. They should face the same time that they were trying to do against Trump. I'm dug in. One thing about it is we're going to see all we're going to see a whole bunch of change come November. And there's going to be a lot of sad faces, bad reactions, but that's OK. Because we know who we need in office. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, but make sure you also go check out Doug and X. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video. It's a banger. Want to check out Trump at that? Uh, I think he it, it, it was a Trump rally in Michigan. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Catch y'all next one.